even though Goofy may not be one of my favourite classic Disney characters, I do love the how-to series with Goofy. There was a relatively recent one, How to Stay at Home, which was a lot of fun. Definitely check it out on Disney Plus if you haven't seen it. But the original how-to series is from the 40s, and How to Play Football was actually nominated for the Academy Award for Best Animated Short in 1944. It didn't win, and would I have been surprised if it had won? Well, in terms of the animation quality, it's really good. For somebody from me, from my perspective, who has no interest in football, nor knowledge, it was relatively interesting, but I definitely preferred the how to play baseball, because I have an interest in baseball. So I think you really need to have an interest in football to get the most out of it. Nevertheless, it's good fun and educational. It was directed by Jack Kinney, and obviously stars the voice of Pinto Kolbig as Goofy. As with the rest of the how to play, we have Goofy on screen acting out various things that are being instructed as we watch an animated game of football. This is, of course, American football. I know nothing about American football. Almost, uh, almost, um, <laughs> see, almost as much as I know about British football, which is also nothing. So I was going into this with basically no not no knowledge. I've heard of a touchdown. That's about as extensive as my knowledge gets. I learned some terminology, but I don't feel like I could go out and play football constantly, which is fair enough. I can't say that this would be something that genuine football players would watch before every game, but it's it's good fun. If you are interested in football, I think you will enjoy it. Certainly the animation is is beautiful. You know, we get to see the field. Is it called a pitch in American football? Um, I feel like that would have been information given to me in the short, and I just haven't retained that. So if you are watching it for educational purposes, it might need a few watches. But the actual animation, I really like. We have all of these goofy-esque characters who form the team. Apparently the team members' names all come from um, individuals who worked in the Disney creative team at the time, uh, which I liked. I thought that was nice. The, the background animation with the crowds and things I thought was very well done. I thought that was a very clever way of showing a lot of people without actually showing a lot of people. It works really well. So the animation quality is a joy to watch. Goofy's performance is as expected. Is it educational? Yes. Did I remember much from it? Not as much as I did with the baseball one. But if you are interested in the history of Disney or in the Goofy How-To series, definitely give it a watch. It is visually a great achievement, and I can see why it was nominated for the Best, uh, best Animated Short. I don't think it should have won. It didn't win. But it's certainly worthy of its nomination. Good fun to watch. Not my favourite Goofy How-To, but still pretty impressive. 